Oracle Cloud implementations have a number of pain points. And in this video, I'm going to look at one of such pain points, which is to do with loading invoices, that's accounts payables invoices using spreadsheets. And I'll call this one of the solutions, which I generally call painkillers. So let's dive in to the details. But before you do that, let's like, subscribe, and also click also on the notification bell. And this will give you updates to videos that I uh, present on this channel. So like this video if you want to see more of videos, more videos like this and subscribe to this channel if you want me to continue to create uh, videos similar to this. So let's get started. So this issue was sent to me by someone called uh, Shetan SP. He says, hi, can you please show me how to create prepayment invoice from spreadsheet loader in Oracle Fusion? And the main reason why this question was asked, I believe, is to do with the, the standard Excel spreadsheet loader, which gives you the options of loading invoices of the type credit memo, debit memo, and standard invoices. But the option to load prepayments are not part of this spreadsheet. So the question is that how do you actually load prepayments using a spreadsheet so what I'm going to do I'm just going to first of all go through the methods of loading invoices via spreadsheets and then specify which one of these methods will enable you to load prepayments invoices so the method that um, a lot of people use from the application is the ADFDI loader and this is mainly used for invoices that you want to load quickly into the system uh, the ADSDI is an Excel add-in. It's actually the application development framework desktop integrator. And this uses a standard Excel functionality to load the invoices directly into the application. Another method that you can use to load invoices into the application is the FBDI loader, which is the file-based data import loader. And this is mainly used for mass loading uh, usually when you're doing things like your data migration or maybe you just want to load data in from an external source and you want to load them in mass. So let's have a look at um, some of the key features of this FBDI loader and see whether this will satisfy our requirement. So first of all, the file-based data import uses this flow. Um, I mean, I covered this in another course which I will give you the details in the in the comments below or in the in the area below. So you can always go back and look at the details of the course. But but um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go into certain aspects of this flow. So first, the I'm going to show you where to download the import template from, which is the Excel spreadsheet and also how to prepare the data file that you're going to be using for loading this file into the environment. I'm going to skip the uploading file to UCM, which is Universal Content Management, and I'm going to go straight into loading the data into the interface table. Um, I have also prepared a sample data, which I will provide also in the link below. And then you have the importing the data into the application table using the import job, which we'll also look at, and then we'll finally look at the data that is loaded in the application to view the prepayment invoice. So let's have a look at the core steps. One is we're going to prepare the spreadsheet. We're then going to load the interface file. That, that is the spreadsheet converted into a CSV file into the interface table. And then we're going to import the invoice or the prepayment invoice into the application. And then we're going to view the invoice. So let's get started. Let's look at how to download the template. To download the import file, so go to docs.oracle.com and select financials. And in the financials cloud page, select 
administer on the left hand side which is under the top task link and then select get started with file based data import this is in the import data section In the file based data import for financials page, you go down to payables on the left hand side and you select payables standard invoice import. And this gives you the section where you can download the Excel template file. Now there are other instructions in this page, which may be helpful. If you're loading the file to UCM, for example, you need the details of where the file needs to go. So that's the details. And also the, it gives you some information on the tables, and also the scheduled process you need to run um, to import the files, well, to import the, the invoices. So I'm going to download the file payable standard invoice import template XLM. Just waiting for it to finish downloading. So once the file's downloaded, you can open the file. And once you open the file, you have the instructions and CSV generation page. You then have two tabs, two other tabs. One is the AP invoices interface. This is for the header, AP header, and you've got some sample data. And then you have the AP invoice lines interface, which is for the lines. And also you have some uh, sample data as well. And what you would normally do is populate this spreadsheet and select the generate csv file to generate the file so i'm going to open an example that um, i'm going to provide for you and also i'm going to show you just uh, this example file so file it's open so this is one that i created earlier i'm just going to make some changes to the file so that when we bring the file in, we'll be able to recognize this. So invoice ID, I'm going to call it 1002. We're going to load this data for the US1 business unit. Sources external, prepay invoice number. I'm going to just make that prepay-21022701-001. Invoice amount 2190. This includes tax. Uh, supplier name, supplier number, prepayment demo is my description. And I can also put in an import set, so which is my prepay demo as my import set. And I have um, some other information, invoice type. This is where the, the details are. So let me just look at the list. So in the invoice type, you can see that you have credit, prepayment and standard. So here you would select prepayment as the invoice type. Scroll to the right, enter the details as requested. And also in the lines, you do it likewise. But one thing to note in the lines is that the invoice ID that you have in the lines must also match the invoice ID that you have on the header. So I'm gonna call this 1002 just to match what I have in the header. So once you've, once you've done that, you can then generate your CSV file. So I'm just gonna create generate CSV. So this will create a CSV file to be stored on your system. So I'm going to store this in my rapid start files and I'm just gonna put it in my, um, in, that, in that folder. So it's going to create a zip file which will contain two files one is for the header csv file and another one for the lines and that will create a dot zip file that will be then uploaded into the system so there we are so we've um we've got the file generated so we've prepared it, spreadsheet data, downloaded and prepared it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to load the spreadsheet data into the application. And we're going to use the load interface file for import program. So to do that, log into the application and go to tools and select scheduled processes. We're going to schedule a new process. 
load interface files for import and click on OK. And you want to select the import process for your payables invoices. So import payables invoices is what we want to do. And I'm going to select my data file. And here I'm going to click on upload a new file. If you had loaded the file from UCM, then you would actually see the file in the list. And then you, uh, you could just, uh, just select the file to load it. So I'm just going to click on upload a new file browse and then I'm going to select my AP invoice import.zip file and OK and submit so let's so the files loaded to the interface so we've loaded the interface file for import so now we want to import the invoice and to do that let's go to payables invoices we've already got two files here so let's um, import the file import invoices that's our business unit that's our ledger and the source if you remember it was external so select external and if you wanted to you could actually specify the invoice group which is the batch but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave it as one and submit and okay so let's click on home let's go back to invoices usually takes a few minutes there we go so it's here and that's the invoice we loaded prepayment invoice we loaded prepaid two one zero two two seven double oh one that's the file never validated so you could just go in and validate and that's ready to be processed so we view the invoice on the workbench. So that's basically how to import the files from a spreadsheet. So that's basically how to create a prepayment invoice from a spreadsheet loader. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. And remember to ask questions in the comments below. And if you want me to share particular uh, methods on resolving some pains then please put them in the comments below so thank you very much and see you in the next video